checking in with some Montreal Canadiens rumors here. Specifically on the defensive side of things, we have ourselves a few tidbits that I thought were interesting enough to make a video about two NHL quality defensemen that the Montreal Canadiens are rumored towards being involved with. One of them is a more prominent name that you've probably heard throughout the past few months in Jake Gardner, and the other is a name that has been on the down low over these past few weeks. Julius Honka of the Dallas Stars. Let's start off with talking about Gardner first and just getting into that whole situation over here. This is from a tweet on Habs Chronicle talking about what Elliot Friedman said of the Montreal Canadiens and Gardner. Elliot Friedman mentioned again Montreal having interest in Jake Gardner, but added that Gardner doesn't seem so interested in Montreal as of now. Friedman also says he has no doubt Mark Bergevin is trying to make moves. There could even be another offer sheet close to starting day when the 10% rule goes away. Now, the source for this is Tim and Sid, as Elliot Friedman is frequently a guest on that television program. And it's not surprising. We've heard a lot of things about Jake Gardner being involved in at least on the interest-wise front of the Montreal Canadiens, but the consensus here is that Gardner is more likely considering the Toronto Maple Leafs if they will be able to make something happen with their cap and open up that space for Gardner, but the Montreal Canadiens, they're putting their names in there still. The name is in the hat, and it's not something that's necessarily surprising because we kind of know that this has been the case for a while now. Gardner is a left-handed defenseman. He can get upwards of 50 points in a year. Say what you want about him defensively, but offensively, Gardner is a machine. So having that guy playing alongside of Weber on the first pairing certainly is a much better option than a guy like Kulak. The left-handed defenseman depth still goes as follows. It's Kulak, it's Sherratt, and it's Victor Mete, and none of those guys are legitimate top-pairing defensemen. I'm not going to say that Gardner is one of those either, but Gardner certainly has a much better fare of potential if he was playing in a top-two role than any of those other three guys. So... That is definitely a desirable player to have in that spot. It's very obvious to see why. But if the Montreal Canadiens are not necessarily in the forefront of that discussion, then, oh well, gotta throw your names out for other players, right? And that's what we have here with Julius Honka. This tweet comes over from Jimmy Murphy, who is a multimedia reporter with 18 years of experience, editor-in-chief and lead columnist at Boston Hockey Now. He's hearing that the Go Habs Go are interested in acquiring Dallas Stars RFA defenseman Julius Honka. The Dallas Stars only have $970,000 to sign him. Obviously, they would prefer to move someone else and to keep Honka, but if not, the Stars might be handcuffed into forcing their hand and moving this Finnish defenseman. Now, Julius Honka was a high draft pick in the 2014 NHL entry draft, who's had some really good offensive numbers everywhere outside the NHL. He's 23 years old, so he's not necessarily super young, but Honka is a guy who has displayed flashes of brilliance offensively, throughout his draft stock and throughout his draft plus one and draft plus two years. That being said, though, his tenure in the NHL has been less than subpar, and overall, his potential as a top four offensive power play quarterback has been diminishing by the years. It wasn't always like this, though. Because in his draft year, he was playing with the Swift Current Broncos, he was at 56 points in 62 games as a right-handed D. In his draft plus one, he played in the AHL, 31 points in 68 games as an 18, 19-year-old defenseman, which is really, really good. Then playing in the Texas Stars organization a little bit more, he had himself pretty good statistical seasons as well. He had a pretty strong showing in the NHL with 5 points in 16 games, 
But after that, he's played two seasons in the NHL, hasn't necessarily had the same amount of production, and overall, he's in a sort of limbo now, where people are trying to define the potential on this Finnish defenseman. And it's an interesting thing to note, because he is a right-handed guy, he is a guy who is noted for offense, and you might be saying, okay, well, where does that fit in the Habs lineup? Is he gonna be on the third pairing? But mostly, the consensus that I've seen is that Honka would be a guy that would replace Jeff Petrie. Now, I'm not saying that he'll be able to do that 100%, as in, get the amount of points that Petrie can get, man the power play like Petrie can, and overall just be a top four guy like Petrie can behind Weber, but if Petrie is in a position to get traded, which is very much a possibility because we've been talking about this for a while now, if Petrie is traded, then Honka seems more like an appropriate fit to that right-handed spot than a guy like Noah Juleson, for example. Because say what you want about Honka and how inferior he is to Jeff Petrie, he's a better fit than Juleson. He's a better fit than Folan, and he's a better fit than Flurry and Brook, at least right now. In three or four years, that may not be the case, but going into next season, a guy like Julius Honka, who has been in the NHL for a while, and who still exhibits some of the qualities that made him a highly touted offensive defenseman five years ago, I'd say he's probably a safer bet to being a consistent NHLer than a guy who's still pretty young like Josh Brook. So, I can understand the interest, especially from the Montreal Canadiens' point of view, and if the Dallas Stars are handcuffed into being forced to trading a player like Julius Honka because they don't have the money to sign him because he's an RFA, then Mark Bergevin, man, make it happen. But, of course, this is only one of the two players that we're talking about here. Gardner and Honka are both guys who probably do have those offensive capabilities of staying in a Montreal Canadiens top four. Imagine if they get both. That would be really cool. And you could have some really good flexibilities with the rest of your defensive core on the Habs. But right now, the way things look at it... DailyFaceoff.com has the Habs defensive pairing going as Mete Weber, Kulak Petrie, and Sherratt Juleson. If you change that up, you have yourselves Gardner Weber, Mete, and I guess Petrie or Honka if you want to keep Petrie on your lineup, and then Kulak Juleson as Sherratt with the seventh guy, then I think it's a really strong defensive core that you have over there. And Gardner and Honka do provide those tools. As I said, Honka not so much ever since his draft plus three, four years, but there's a reason he was super highly touted. And as a Finnish guy, you like seeing them Finns coming into Montreal, right? Code Kanyemi, Lekanen, and maybe Honka is up next. But another thing I wanted to talk about with Honka is the potential return. Because if the Dallas Stars are kind of strapped, as it may seem, then I wouldn't be surprised if it would only take just a little bit to pry that player away from Dallas. And besides, Honka's been in the subject of Dallas Stars trade rumors for a while now, mostly because of his inferior play in correlation with what people thought he would be. By this time, I'm pretty sure people thought he would be a 30-40 point top 4 defenseman. It's really not what he turned out to be, but the fact is, he still has that potential. He was still, two years ago, having that same potential because he was a beast in the AHL. But still, Honka today is a good mobile defenseman, good first pass. For some reason, he doesn't get any assists, but oh well. If the Montreal Canadiens want to step in there, try to change that, swap out a Jeff Petrie, get something back for him, and have Honka on the right side, then I think it makes a lot of sense here. But that's just me rambling on about Montreal Canadiens' potential defenseman acquisitions. Obviously, it's just rumors. There's no real substance to this other than the sources involved. But if the Montreal Canadiens were in a position to be making some defenseman acquisitions, I think it's these two who are the first ones on their list. Jake Gardner, UFA status, heavy interest with the Toronto Maple Leafs, though and Julius Honka, who is handcuffed in a situation as an RFA by the Dallas Stars who don't have any money, and who has been the subject of those trade rumors for a while. Hope you enjoyed this video, social.com, and...
and bye.